So they're like idiot savants, right? ChatGPT knows much more than any one person. If you had a competition about, you know, how much you know, it would just wipe out any one person. I could have said it then, but it wouldn't have convinced people. And what I could have said then is, the only reason that neural networks weren't working really well in the 1980s was because the computers weren't fast enough and the data sets weren't big enough. But back in the 80s, the big issue was, could you expect a big neural network with lots of neurons in it, compute nodes, and connections between them, that learns by just changing the strengths of the connections. Could you expect that to just look at data and with no kind of innate prior knowledge, learn how to do things? And people in mainstream AI thought that was completely ridiculous. It sounds a little ridiculous. It is a little ridiculous, but it works. And how did you know or why did you intuit that it would work? Because the brain works, because that's, you have to explain how come we can do things and how can, come we can do things that we didn't evolve for, by reading. Reading's much too recent for us to have had significant evolutionary input to it. But we can learn to do that, and mathematics, we can learn that. So there must be a way to learn in these neural networks. Um, I really would like to know how the brain works, and I think there's currently a divergence between the artificial neural networks that are the basis of all this new AI and how the brain actually works. I think they're going different routes. That's what I believe. This is my personal opinion. But all of the big models now use a technique called backpropagation. Okay, there's a fundamental difference between two different, there's two different paths to intelligence. So one path is the biological path, where you have hardware that's a bit flaky, an analog. So what we have to do is communicate by using natural language, also by showing people how to do things, imitation, things like that. But instead of being able to communicate a hundred trillion numbers, we can only communicate what you can say in a sentence, which is not that many bits per second. Yeah. And so we're really bad at communicating compared with these current computer models that run on digital computers. And it's As almost infinite that are able to Their signals. communication bandwidth is huge yeah. because they're exactly the same model, they're clones of the same model running on different computers. And because of that, they can see huge amounts of data because different computers can see different data so then they can combine what they learned. More than any person could ever comprehend. Far more than any person could ever comprehend. And yet somehow we're smarter than them still. Okay, so they're like idiot savants, right? ChatGPT knows much more than any one person. If you had a competition about, you know, how much you know, it would just wipe out any one person. Do amazing at bar trivia. Yes, it would do amazing, and it would do amazing. And it can do all the. It can write poems. It can, you know, um, they're not so good at reasoning. We're better at reasoning. We have to extract our knowledge from much less data. So we've got a hundred trillion connections, most of which we learn. But we only live for a billion seconds, which isn't very long. Whereas things like ChatGPT have run for much more time than that to absorb all this data, but on many different computers. But people sort of made fun of the idea that the claim that, well, you know, if I just had a much bigger computer, much more data, everything would work. And the reason it doesn't work now is because we haven't got enough data and enough compute. That's seen as a sort of lame excuse for the fact that your thing doesn't work. Was it hard in the 90s doing this work? In the 90s, computers were improving, uh, but um, yes, 
So there were other learning techniques that on small data sets worked at least as well as neural networks and were easier to explain and had much fancier mathematical theory behind them. We're not exactly at the University of Toronto. We're close to the University of Toronto. At universities here and around the world, we're teaching a lot of people to code. Does it still make sense to be teaching so many people to code? Um, I don't know the answer to that. In about 2015, I famously said it didn't make sense to be teaching radiologists to recognize things in images. And um, because within the next five years, um, computers will be better at it. Yeah. Are we well, all about to be radiologists though? Well, then computers are not better. I was wrong. It's going to take 10 years, not five. Okay. I wasn't wrong in spirit. I just, yeah. I have a factor of two. Computers are now comparable with radiologists at a lot of medical images. Yeah. They're not way better at all of them yet. But they're only they getting be. better. Yeah. So I think there'll be a while when it's still worth having coders. I don't know how long that'll be, but we'll need less of them. Yeah. I think. But or... We'll need the same number and then we'll have to achieve a whole lot more.